Okay, um, so let's do another one of these predict the products of the following reaction. So we have um, an alkene here, and we have uh, hydrobromic acid. So whenever you react an alkene with hydrobromic acid, the HBr is going to add to the alkene here, okay? So um, oftentimes what I, and we're just predicting the product, we're not going to show the mechanism, okay? But just to remind you, sometimes it's helpful for you to remember this, okay? So, do you remember Markovnikov's rule? Okay, so whenever you have um, HBr or any of these H halogens, the halogenic acids, um, uh, the H is going to go to the carbon with the most H's on it. That's called Markovnikov's rule. Okay, and the Br is going to go to the other one. Okay, so here we have these two carbons, and we have to decide which one has more H's on it. Well, this one has two H's attached to it, and this one only has one H attached to it, okay? So the hydrogen's gonna go to this H, and the Br's gonna go, or the hydrogen's gonna go to this carbon, and the Br's gonna go to this carbon, okay? So let's just draw that out. So this carbon, the last carbon is now gonna be CH3, like that. Then that's gonna be attached to C, H, Br, like that, and then up here we have C2, H5, okay? And if you wanted to, C2, H5, we could expand, that's just an ethyl group. So again, we're just predicting products here. We're not showing mechanism, okay? Is everybody okay with this? So this, whenever you got an alkene and one of these halogen acids, we're going to do an addition reaction, which adds this to the alkene, okay? And it's going to add Markov, Okay, where the hydrogen goes to the carbon with the most hydrogens. Are we clear on that? Any questions, maybe? No questions? Nobody even wants to say no. Huh?